Hang gliding, a mesmering aviation sport that blends the thrill of flight with the elegance of human maneuverability, unfolds as a symphony of wind and skill. Imagine yourself suspended beneath a sleek, triangular airfoil, an aerial dance partner woven from nylon or dacrom fabric, held together by an intricate lattice of rigid metal tubes and cables. This flexible wing, a marvel of engineering, is more than just a canvas for the wind. It's a canvas for your dreams. In this airborne ballet, the pilot becomes one with the glider, swaying in harmony with the breeze. With nothing but a harness connecting them to the airframe, they're like a brush stroke on a canvas, painting their trajectory with subtle shifts of their body weight. To launch into the boundless expanse above, a pilot races down a hill at speeds of 15 to 25 miles per hour, teasing the wind to breathe life into their craft. The wings, those artful airfoils, catch the currents, and lift the glider off the earth, defying gravity with elegant defiance. Lift, the ethereal force that cradles the glider in its embrace, is an act of poetry written by the wings. Picture this, air rushing faster over the crown of the glider, a graceful caress that orchestrates a dance of pressure beneath. It's a choreography that lifts the glider skyward, a sublime tug of war between physics and wonder. For as long as the wind's tender embrace provides lift, the glider soars, a testament to the harmony between human ingenuity and nature's capricious whims. To navigate the heavens, the pilot wields their body as both conductor and instrument. A shift in weight sends the glider into a gentle turn, like a melody shifting key. By returning to the center, Wings realign with the horizon. More intricate maneuvers like pitch and dive are composed using the trapeze-like control bar, a symphony of motion. Histories as vast as the sky whisper tales of ancient skies woven with kites and dreams. From China's 6th century kite pilots to the ingenious German aviator Albrecht Ludwig Berblinger, who, in the 1810s, breathed life into the first hang glider. The spirit of innovation took flight again in the 19th century with Otto Lilienthal, whose control gliders echoed Leonardo da Vinci's dreams. A German pioneer, Lilienthal etched his name onto the heavens with controllable gliders, inspiring future generations to reach for the sky. The 1940s birthed a turning point. A flexible kite christened the Parawing, by American innovators Gertrude and Francis Rogallo. It soared without rigid constraints, allowing the wind to mold its form. John Dickinson in Australia wove the parawing into a narrative of flight, giving birth to the modern hang glider. This chapter, though, was only the beginning. In the 1960s, on California's coastal dunes, pioneers transformed Rogallo's designs into reality, coasting through the dunes, as if surfing the skies. Barry Palmer, an American engineer, brought a Regala wing glider to life in 1961, a structure of aluminum tubes and dreams. The glider's anatomy took shape. Wing, frame, cables, a tapestry of innovation. The wing, resilient and feather-light, crafted from plastic strands, cradled the dreamer. The airframe forged from alloys of aluminum and whispers of magnesium, zinc, and copper embraced the wind. Modern hang gliders born from alloys and threads now dance with the air, their weight varying from 45 to about 90 pounds. The wings steadfast and solid defy turbulence and the wind's wild whispers. The glide ratio, a reflection of grace, ushers in long moments in the sky, elongated before the triumphant return. The cost of this airborne poetry, a brand new glider, paints a price tag of about four to $5,000 in U.S. currency on average. A symphony of choices awaits, ensuring all your dreams find their vessel. Over the land of the free, where dreams touch the clouds, most skies welcome hang gliders' embrace. 
In the myriad of regulations, no license is required to dance with the wind, yet the skies expect a nod from the United States Hang Gliding and Paragliding Association, the USHPA. Age knows no bounds here. Even the young may embrace the skies, with parents or guardians as their witnesses signing consent. So remember, as you chart your course among the stars, you are among the few who answer the sky's call. In the realm of the Federal Aviation Regulations, you are the keepers of the sky's secrets, classified as ultralight gliders woven into the fabric of Section 103. The heavens await your ascent, your dreams fluttering as wings do. These are interesting things with J.C.